I'm so excited. I love fanny packs. I am all about them. Hello my gorgeous, beautiful, beloved friends. Welcome back to the channel. If you're new around here, my name is Libby Ayer. I am a TV lifestyle expert, blogger, and author. And I make content to encourage you to have self-care a little bit each day. So stick around if you're excited to see what is in my fanny pack, girl. Today I'm gonna to be sharing with you what I have in my little fanny pack because it is such a cute little fanny pack for summer and I thought I would go through it with you because this is what I keep in my fanny pack when we're traveling or we're going to like I just did a blog post about San Diego and all the places that we went to in San Diego and when we went to Legoland we went to the zoo we went to Safari Park went to all these places and I literally rocked a fanny pack to all of them because you can't be you know you gotta you gotta be ready you gotta be ready you gotta be hands-free so if you are interested in seeing what is in my fanny pack and this is not the one that I took to SeaWorld with me um, I wouldn't have taken this one because it feels like a little too bougie for me um, I took one that I got from Amazon that was really inexpensive and it was black I'll insert a picture here and I'll leave a link of that fanny pack down below because it is so stinking good for the price oh my gosh it's amazing this one I just got and I love it I love the color I love everything about it it's just so gorgeous it has a nice little zipper back here so you can put I put my cash and my phone on that portion of it and then it has this little zipper over here but look at the just gorgeous craftsmanship of this amazing fanny pack belt bag whatever what do you guys call it comment down below and let me know do you call it fanny pack or do you call it belt bag or what do you call it okay first things first which is my favorite thing in the world sunscreen i keep a tiny little super goop resetting refreshing mist you gotta oh my gosh almost that thing almost popped off okay you gotta shake it real good oh wow that is such a easy way to reapply your sunscreen throughout the day feels really refreshing the spray on this is so light so you don't feel like you're you know getting your face all wet and gross it actually feels really nice to to refresh your spf with this because it's so gentle then we have some Kleenex because you know it's allergy season and when you're out with kids you gotta have those you need those um, I also don't have it in here right now but I do always keep a little thing of wet ones in my fanny pack because it's nice and travel size I get them at Target I'll put a picture of it right here of what it looks like but it really does fit in there really nicely but because I don't have that right now I keep this little Touchland, Touchland Power Mist Mm, that smells nice and clean. Hydrating hand sanitizer. Then I have my little wallet guy. Then I keep a lip liner in there just in case I need to refill my lips. I have my phone in there. But sometimes I also put it in the back right here. Matcha lattes are so delicious. <gasps> I have with me a little Kosas Oh my gosh, this is adorable. This is the Cloud Set Breezy Setting Powder. And I keep this little guy. You know, it's a nice little setting powder when I'm out. It sets my makeup really nicely. And the tiny little guy is adorable, right? Oh my gosh, I love tiny things. I love everything and small. is just It just makes my heart so happy. This is the Shine On Lip Jelly from Tower 28. And it's in the color Coconut. This is what I'm wearing today. The lip combo is this, this, and this. It's so good. I love this lip liner. I love it, I love it, I love it. This is in the color work of art. Also, the most adorable little lippy. I also have this Glow Recipe Lip Pop. Okay, this smells like watermelon. I'll show you what that looks like. It is so good. It is one of the best little lippies that I have found in the clean beauty space it gives a really nice wash to the lips it just feels like you just ate berries and i have some happy mother's day cards i bought for my friends i'm gonna go to church on sunday for mother's day and just you know i'm just reminded that motherhood is a should be a team sport because it is hard it is a hard Ooh, it's challenging. So I'm really grateful for the moms that God put me around. And um, I want to say happy Mother's Day to them with little cards. And then I have a tiny little hand cream. 
I don't know if this is clean in the clean beauty space. I enjoy having hand cream. As I'm getting older, guys, I'm realizing that I really need to take care of my hands. Now, when I'm doing my skincare stuff at night, I legit treat my the back of my hands like my face. I'm putting on pretty much everything from my retinol to my AJs to my moisturizer at night to make sure that my hands are nice and moisturized and taken care of. I have my hair tie. I have a little hair tie. Even though I have short hair, I have literally like 20 daughters. I'm a volunteer at a soccer outreach and I have almost 20 daughters in that team and all of them always need a hair tie. So I always carry hair ties with me. The last thing I have is a tiny little perfume from Ellis Brooklyn. This is the Sun Fruit. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. My favorite Ellis Brooklyn perfume for spring and for summer is Sweet Fragrance. I'll pop it on here. That is my ultimate favorite, but I don't, don't know where I put the Sweet one. It must be in one of my other bags, but I have the Sun Fruit one for this bag. I love reapplying my perfume, you know, when you get a little smelly or whatever. It just revives my whole day when I, when I could reset my lips, my hands, my makeup my sunscreen and these are all things that would work if you're going on vacation if you're going to a theme park if you're going to a baseball game like a dodger game let me know down below if you have a dodger team i am a dodger fan and i love the dodgers and we've been we went to san diego and we went to a padres dodger game and i wore a fanny pack and this is all the stuff that i had with me again with the addition of the wet ones those are probably one of the most important that and sunscreen i would say are probably the most important two that i keep in my bag because you just never know in this little know? back pocket i have my adorable little diy cash envelopes i made these and i have two videos on how to make them i'll link them down below if you are kind of a budgeter like me and you like doing cash envelopes i really appreciate just having them in here and Having easy access to them as you are going and buying stuff, you know, especially if you're traveling, it's nice to have it in the back and you have it up against you. It's just nice. All right. That is it, my friends. That's everything I have in my fanny pack. Let me know if there's anything that you have in your fanny pack or in your bag that would be a good addition to my fanny pack or my handbag, okay? I love you so much. Hope to see you very soon. God willing. Adios.